I live in an M terrace house with very high ceilings. If I go on my tiptoes and stretch up with my hands, there's still a foot above my hands to the ceiling. They're that high. Ideally, the radiator really needs to be under that window. But until the weather improves, I'm not going to move it under the window. But what I decided to do is I doubled the radiator a couple of years ago and I still couldn't heat the pillow if I put a thermometer on there above 13, 14 degrees. That's how bad it was. So I doubled the radiator. It really didn't make much difference at all. Now I tried one of these fan eaters from Amazon. So you got four fans and it's four small fans and you popped it on the top and it wasn't much of an improvement. So I decided to have a go at making my own. So it's only a pilot at the moment. So I've got three fans on top, just computer fans. They're connected in parallel. This has got to be made permanent. And then I've got a, a power supply, 12 volt to amp power supply. But they use very little energy, these fan eaters, and it actually pushes the air right against the back wall. You can check, test that with a piece of paper and it flutters. So last night when I got the three fans on, I got the temperature on the pillow to be 18C. So it's running about 17, 18 in my lounge downstairs. And now I'm getting the room up to 18C. So that's a massive improvement. I probably need to add a bimetallic strip to turn it on and off at set temperature. And I may also put a controller on so I can turn down the actual motors to run about 80% rather than 100%. So I've got it sucking out the top of the radiator. Tonight I'm going to swap all the fans around and actually put this on the bottom of the radiator and push the air up and see what the difference is. I'm determining whether this is going on the top or the bottom of the radiator. But like I said, it's only pilot because I don't, I'm going to be moving things around. So I've not made any of the wiring permanent on it. And what I'll do is I'll keep you up to date on it. But I think that's a massive improvement. I'm seeing a four, five degree increase in temperature in this room, which is uh, fantastic. But like I said, the ideal situation is to put that radiator under the window but I probably still need this device on top of it but I think that would improve it even more so I'll keep you posted on this device I'm making <laughs>